نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد قال الله تعالى في شان حبيبه إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to the program Miftah Al-Quran and of course we continue Surah An-Nisa and uh, the verse that we are going to tackle is verses 89 onwards and this lesson is called part C17 Auzubillahi minash shaitanir rajim I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim I begin in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful and uh, please viewers be mindful of the fact that the verses we are tackling right now from surah an-nisa mostly dealing with war and how to deal with the munafikins how to deal with the, those who are hostile towards you and it may not interest everybody because i know there are others who who may need more little other other points of other verses but nevertheless we have to do these things because we are doing the verses from one side what do law takfuruna kama kafaru fatakunu na sawaan what do law takfuruna kama kafaru fatakunu sawaan what do now you find this uh, you know in life you find when somebody is in trouble or somebody has done something disgraceful then you hope that your son is dead then they hope that other people's son also do it so the question of equalization come my son did it you did it so what so this is the attitude of the kufar what do they wish they desired law if takfuruna kafara yakfuru kafara he disbelieved he rejected he was ungrateful there's so many meanings takfuru the present tense ta is of course you wow noon makes it plural they disbelieve this is kufars kama even as kafaru kafara of course it's a past tense or perfect kafara try little verb they wow alif they disbelieve fa then or so takunu kana he was yakunu he is you place the ya and make it into a ta it becomes you it becomes a you but the moment you add wa noon it becomes you in the plural you shall be fatakunu you shall be sawa and equal you see like if my son has done something so i'll hope the other people's children also do the same thing so what do law takfuruna kama kafaru they wished if you disbelieve even as they disbelieved then you shall be equal that is prophet and kufar will be equal you see fala tattakhizu minhum awliya hatta yuhajiru fi sabilillah fala tattakhizu minhum awliya hatta yuhajiru fi sabilillah fala then not allah is telling the muslims and of course through the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that these people who come he says why not we all reject everything all the scriptures then not tattakhizu ittakhaza yattakhizu is like an eight form verb ittakhaza ta of course you are noon makes it ittakhazu yattakhizu ya is converted to the ta because of you of course min whom from among min is from of from among them we prefer using from among because it becomes part of them from among them that is the kufar awliya friends comrades you see confidants this is of course we know that wali is a plural is a singular awliya is plural friends hatta until yuhajiru hajara yuhajiru right to emigrate or to migrate you hajiru ya is he wow noon makes it day you hajiru fi in sabil 
the cause, the path, the way. And then fi is a preposition, therefore you have sabil in the genitive case there. Allahi of Allah. It's a idafa constructor sabil illahi of Allah. Fala tatahizu minhum awliya. So do not take friends from among them. These people who come with such ideas to say that let us equalize, we both reject everything. Hatta yuhaji rufi sabili lai until they migrate in the cause of Allah. Now, you see, when you talk about migrate in the cause of Allah, what does it mean? That either these people are in Makkah and they are talking in those terms that you know what, let us equalize everything, you reject, we reject. So your proof of them will be that if they can leave Makkah and come to Medina and show that we are real true believers, that's one aspect. Another thing is, they may be in your company, but mentally they haven't migrated, spiritually they haven't migrated. You see, migrate can be physical from one town to the other, and it could be one ideology to another. So both meanings can be taken here, that these people, Allah says, do not take friends from among them, until they migrate, meaning they either come from Makkah to Medina or they migrate spiritually into Islam. That's what it means here. فَإِن تَوَلَّوْ فَخُزُوهُمْ وَقْتُلُوهُمْ حَيْسُ وَجَدْتُمُهُمْ Now you see these people are very dangerous people. Who? These people who have these double standards. They are very, very dangerous. Why they are very dangerous? Let us see. فَإِن So if Fa, of course, means so or but or then if tawallaw, walla ya wallaw, ta is, of course, they, right? It doesn't mean ta, wow, alif, of course, means they turn. The ta is part of the verb, please, it's not the ta of the personal pronoun. They turn away. In other words, these people, they, they are who are or sitting on a fence, they say, let us equalize. If now you must remember these verses deal with wartime measures. It's not that everywhere the Muslims are told, kill this one, kill that one, kill that one. No. These are precautionary measures because of the war situation. What Tawalla they turn away, fa fa is then khuz, seize or hold to them, hold them, capture them, seize them, and uktuluhu means slay them because they are dangerous. Whom, of course, is them. Uktul qatala yaktulu means to kill, to slay, to murder. This is uktulu means it is an imperative mood. So uktulu whom and these people who are, you know, dangerous, their behavior, they say, let us join, let us equalize, and such people are dangerous to you. So wherever you find them, haisu, wherever, wajat tumu whom wajada, Wajada, he found. Wajatum, you find. You see, wajatum, tum is you. But because you have added the pronoun here, you put a wow there. That is a rule in Arabic, those who want to know. Wajatum, normally it will be wajatum, you find. But because of the pronoun, we have put a wow there. Of course, him, whom is them. Wajatumu, whom you find them. So the Muslims are told, fa'in tawallaw. فَخُزُوهُمْ وَقْتُلُوهُمْ But if they turn away, and then seize them, means capture them and slay them wherever you find them because of their behavior in a way that they can become danger to society. وَلَا تَتَّخِذُوا مِنْهُمْ وَلِيًّا وَلَا نَصِيرًا وَلَا تَتَّخِذُوا مِنْهُمْ وَلِيًّا وَلَا نَصِيرًا Wa and la not tattakhizu, ittakhaza yattakhizu, as I told you this is an eight form verb. Wa la tattakhizu, do not take. It's a prohibitive, la tattakhizu. It's a negative command as we call it. Min whom from among them, min of course from among of them. Waliyan, a friend, a confidant. Right, a friend. You cannot take such people who, who are coming to you and say, you know, let us equalize. You reject your faith, I will reject my faith. Allah says these people are dangerous. You find them. They do not want to turn. They, they are open. They have that attitude. Wherever you find them, you seize them, you slay them, and do not take them as a friend, wa and nor as 
a help a nasira you they, you cannot be they cannot be trusted wala tattakhizu minhum waliyan wala nasira and do not take from among them a friend and no a helper right because of the attitude illa allazina yasiluna ila qaumin bainakum wa bainahum misak now the allah says is given certain con- uh, this thing concession in other word meaning that certain people you do not have to be hard on them you do not find them and kill them now first category is illa allazina yasiluna ila qaumin bainakum wa bainahum misaqun you see illa except the first category of people that you have to be lenient to it. you don't ap- apply this full law you accept right allazina allazina meaning those who allazina those who yasiluna wasala yasilu mean to join right to join how do you join two people when you make an alliance you join two groups yasiluna ila towards qaumin a people qaum of course is double dhamma double kasra day it means a bainakum between you baina of course means between kum is you between you and baina hum and between them that is misakun is a covenant is an agreement pledge so allah says first in categories these people who are acting as hypocrites they are dangerous they want to equalize you as non believers and they are dangerous so what you do you join them right and especially when they have joined others and of course we'll have a short break and after the short break we shall go for this explanation of this particular verse in the front alif <laughs> lam ra tilka ayatul kitab al mubin alif lam ra tilka ayatul kitab al Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome we continue with uh, lesson 17c of course and you are watching ITV and just before the break we were talking about people who come and ask the muslim to equalize themselves by rejecting faith and becoming kufar similarly and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns them you do not even take them as comrades as helpers as friends but they are dangerous people wherever you find them you must slay them except those who make an alliance now for instance in in society you find you have a lot of alliance you find even present day america is allied with this one that one is allied saudi is a friend of israel and and saudi is a friend of america you find russia is a friend of this one so alliance are formed so we act on behalf and we give concession to people who are part of our alliance so similarly illa lazina yasiluna except those who make an alliance that is they join towards a people between you and between them is a covenant so if somebody comes to you you cannot do any harm to them if you find out that these people are also belonging to a group with whom you have an alliance auja'ukum hasirat suduruhum ay yuqatilukum aw yuqatilu qaumakum aw o ja'ukum hasirat suduruhum ay yuqatilukum aw yuqatilu qaumahum aw o now there's another category first category are people who could be members of an alliance with you right o a second category o ja'ukum You see, Jaa he came is a Jaa Jaa he came, but the moment you add Wow Alif Jaa U they come, come to you they come to you they come to you, right? They come to you Hasirat they are restrained meaning restrained they are not aggressive restrained. What is restrained? Ask a question. What? Ask a question. What? before the verb you are going to get a subject of the sentence now you notice it is hasara hasira he was restrained but hasirat look at that kataba he wrote katabat she wrote so she 
is restrained, but because we've got to accommodate the English language, we make it they, because in English there is no such thing. I mean, in Arabic, there's no such thing as a neuter gender. Hasirat, the, the Arabic will say she for kulub or heart. You notice this is a plural. Sadar is singular for breast. Sudur is plural. But sudur is non-personal plural. That's a subject of the sentence, of course. Right? Because it's a non-personal plural, so we treat it as she. Hasirat, we say hasirat. They are restrained. What are restrained? Their hearts. You see the hearts. Hearts are restrained, plural. Whom is they, of course. And that, yuqatilukum. Qatala yuqatilu. Now, this is a, a third form verb. Third form verb, which means it is reciprocal. We have done this again and again. Qatala means to kill. When two people want to kill each other, that's reciprocal. They will say they fight. Qatala yuqatilu. Yuqatilu ya is, of course, he. Wow, Alif. Wow, of course, makes it plural. They fight. They fight. Kum is you. They fight you. Aw or yuqatilu. Same thing exactly. Yuqatilu. Yuqatilu. Wow, Alif. Yuqatilu. They fight. Qawma. They fight whom. You ask the question whom. They fight whom. After the verb, you are going to get an object here. Qawma, you see, Qawma, Qawma is Fatha, shows the sub object of the sentence, or what you call the accusative case. Qawma, whom? They people. You see, so here is a people. Here is another group. Awja'ukum hasirat suduruhum. Or they come to you. Their hearts or breasts are restrained. They are not aggressive. In other words, they are neutral people. So, as Allah says, you find them, you must kill them. But not those, number one, those with whom you have belonged to people who have, you have an alliance with them or they have an alliance with your own aligned people or their hearts are not aggressive. They, are, they come because they are neutral. They do not know should they fight you or should they fight their people. You see, there's a second category. As I told you, these are verses concerning warfare and wartime conditions. Walausha Allahu. Lasallatahum alaykum falaqatalukum wa law sha'a Allahu lasallatahum alayhim falaqatalukum wa and law head sha'a he desired Allah desired Allah wished who desired ask the question who in front of the verb, you are going to get the subject of the sentence. And there's a sign of the subject is a tamma, the nominative case. Allah desired. La sallatahum. You see, if you look at this word, sallata, do you see the word sultan here? Can you see the word sultan? You know, the, some places the ruler is called sultan, means one who's got the power, one who's got the authority. Sallata. Sallata means to give power. Sallata you sallitu. You see, that's a third form verb. So what it says here now, la indeed sallata, given power to them. To, to that is the kuffar. If Allah so wished, now because they are neutral, you notice these people are neutral and confused, whether they must fight their people or fight you, they do not know, but their hearts are not aggressive and all. So Allah says, Allah indeed give power to them. Alaykum over you. Falaqatalukum fa then or so la indeed qatala he fought qatalu they fought you. So let us see how we fit these things. Walausha Allah La Salatahu Alaikum Falaqatalukum and had Allah desired, in other words, if Allah had desired to put aggression in these people, he would have given power to them over you, and they would have indeed fought you. So right now, they are neutral. So leave them alone. Leave them alone. These are second category of people. Then, you see, a very important thing we must understand. 
A Muslim is given permission to fight by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You got to have long before the Geneva conference was ever thought of, the Muslim were given rules and regulations. Somebody comes, he offers you peace and you know he's not aggressive. Why go and fight and kill him? But open warfare, open hostility, that's a different attitude. You see, Fa'in, then if I'tazalu, I'tazala, he withdrew. Wow, Alif, of course, they withdraw. They withdraw from you. In other words, they go away from you. They leave you in peace. They withdraw from you. Falam then did not. Fa is of course then did not. Yuqatilukum. You see this qatala yuqatilu. How many times we have come to this? As I told you, is a third form verb. Qatala yuqatilu. Reciprocal. Yuqatilu. They fight because of the wow. Kum you. They fight you. Wa and alqaw. They offer. Alqa means to cast, to offer. You see, they offer ilaykum to you. Ila, of course, is to kum you. As-salama, the peace. They offer you the peace. You see, they are not Muslims. They are not allies. But they do not want to fight you. They are not aggressive. You see, these are all long before even the Geneva Conference or... or Convention was ever thought of. Islam put all these things in the Quran. Yeah. So if they withdrew from you, in other words, that they went away from you, they pitched the tent elsewhere, far away, then they did not fight you, but they offered the peace to you. فَمَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ سَبِيلًا Fama ja'ala Allahu lakum alayhim sabila. Fama, then, fa of course is then. Fama, then not ja'ala Allah assign. Assign, who assigns Allah? See the subject of the sentence, you ask the question. Who, who, in front of the verb assigns, who assign Allah assigns, it's a subject of the sentence, the sign, what is a sign of the subject in Arabic? The Dhamma is a sign of the subject. Allah, lakum for you, against them, Allah plus, he. you notice how Allah actually, if it's written alone, it is written like this, Allah, right, Allah against them, against them, Sabila away, right, so what it means? فَمَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ سَبِيلًا Then Allah does not assign for you a way against them. People who come to you, they are not aggressive, they do not want to fight you, there is no open hostility, and they offer you peace. Allah says, there is no way that you are going to go on a further aggression. And of course, we will have a short break. And just to remind you, you are watching the program, Miftah Al-Quran on ITV. Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayatul Kitabil Mubi Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayatul Kitabil Mubi Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome once again for the Third session of the program, Miftah al-Quran, and of course you are watching. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Satajiduna, akharina yuriduna, an ya'manukum wa ya'manu qawmahum. Then you'll have another category. As I told you, these are laws concerning behavior of the Muslims that do not exceed the limit and they treat them as proper people when they ask for peace, etc. Don't go on an aggression. So here, Sata Jiduna, that Akharina, Yuriduna, An Ya'manukum wa Ya'manu Qawmahum. Sa, of course, Sa is the moment a verb starts with Sa, it is definite plural. Because you know the imperfect can be present and future, but the moment it starts with a Sa, it's not a definite plural, but a definite future, the future tense, so we have to use the word shall. Ta, of course, wajada, yajidu, you take the ya, you put the ta, it becomes you, wow, noon is plural, right? 
you shall find sa tiju sata ji duna akharina others you see so many categories of people some who will come for peace some will not but those who are open aggression right you slay them but allah is saying these others you see how fair and you do not go on a war path and killing people just for na then you find others yuriduna they wish arada yuridu you see that ya is he you see and how become they by adding that plural waw nun they wish they desire and that ya manu amana ya manu look at this not amana this is a simple try little amana ya manu amana to secure to trust you see ya manu ya is of course he right ya manu he but waw nun obviously makes it plural he may they may secure from you in other word they are trying to be also neutral people right that they may secure from you and that wa and ya manu you see also ya manu same thing amana ya manu is the same identical thing they may secure you see they they are people who want to be on neutral we make peace with you we make peace with our own people also so please we are not fighting you qauma hum they secure from right from their people you see that word from their people you can make that accusative as from qaum is people whom is they right then they say they will find another category of people sat satajiduna akharina yuriduna you shall find others they wish an ya'manukum wa ya'mu qaumahu that they may be secure from you and their people in other word they want to make peace both side they don't want the neutral people in other word so so many people allah says you don't go and fight and you do not kill them and all that kullama ruddu ila al fitnati urkisu fiha kullama now these people who are on that so called they don't know whether they must make peace with you or they must make peace with their own people but if they have a chance they will take a chance as allah says ya kullama ruddu ila al fitnati urkisu fiha kullama whenever that these people who are so so called neutral people kullama whenever ruddu they are returned they are returned where ila to al fitnati ila of course being a preposition al fitnati is in the genitive fitna means da of course is al fitna means temptation i temptation also mean mischief in our indo pak what the way we use it they return to fitna urkisu they are plunged they are plunged fiha into it so they in other word they are very smart people that this group here they want to say we are friends with you and friends with the, we do not want problem with our own people neither do we want problem with you but quran says whenever they are returned kullama ruddu ila al fitnati to the temptation they are plunged into it they say right let's take it you see fa illam ya'tazilukum wa yulqu ilaykum musallama wa yakuffu aydiyakum na allah says these people who are neutral but the moment they have a chance they take the chance allah says this is a different category now how do you behave with them fa in lam ya'tazilukum wa yulqu ilaykum assalama wa yakuffu aydiyahum fa in then if then fa of course is then if lam not ya'tazilu ya'tazilu itazala if ta'ala yaftailu right ya'tazilu they withdraw see they withdraw kum in other word these people who are neutral and you don't trust them that if they get an opportunity they are going to strike allah says now there is a different situation you see all these star rules of warfare they withdraw wa and yulqu they offer or they cast you see alqa means yulqu they offer ilaikum ila of course to and kum you this is a preposition ila and you know how it is ila 
Ila, this is how we write Ila. Right, Ila becomes like that. Ilaikum as salama, the peace. Wa and Yakufu, they withhold, right? Idea whom, their hands. Idea, they withhold what? Ask the question what after the verb you are going to get the object of the sentence and the sign of the object is a fatha, the accusative case. Aid is a plural of yadun, yadun one hand, aid many hands and you can see when I say aid him, give me a hand. Can you see the relationship there? Aid whom their hands. Now, these people who are you know, in between, they say, we want to please you, please the please our own people, but they get a chance, they want to strike, Allah put a new condition to them. And what is a condition? So if they do not withdraw from you, leave you alone and, and preach the temple, or go away from and offer you peace, they must withdraw, they must offer you peace, and withhold their hands, meaning they must withhold the ammunition. They must not be free with their hands in using the ammunition. So Allah says, if they do not do that, فَخُزُوهُمْ وَاقْتُلُوهُمْ حَيْسُ سَقِفْتُمُهُمْ فَخُزُوهُمْ وَاقْتُلُوهُمْ حَيْسُ سَقِفْتُمُهُمْ Then, O oh Muhammad, O oh Muslims, you see, it's in the plural. Fa is then, seize. Wow, Alif means seize or capture them. Whom, them, of course, these people who are so-called neutral people, but if they look for an opportunity, they want to strike, and if they do not offer you peace, they do not move away from your whereabout, from your environment, and you find that they do not withhold their hands, in other words, their, their ammunition or something, then what Allah says, the fair thing, then seize them, wa and uqtuluhum, slay them, right, slay, meaning kill them, whom them, Haisu wherever saqif to me saqafa means to to find to move tum actually saqif tum as I told you earlier when the moment you have to add a pronoun you make it a wow day saqif tum becomes saqif to move whom wherever you find them so Allah says these people like munafiks like this and the dangerous munafik fakhuzuhum waktuluhum haisu saqif to muhum then seize them in other words capture them and slay them wherever you find them. وَأُولَٰئِكَ جَعَلْنَا لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ سُلْطَانًا مُّبِينًا You see, Allah gives you permission how to do things. وَأُولَٰئِكَ جَعَلْنَا لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ سُلْطَانًا مُّبِينًا وَا and أُولَٰئِكَ These, meaning this type of people or these laws, we have assigned جَعَلْنَا جَعَلَا هِمَيْ جَعَلْنَا Like Kataba. He wrote katabna, we wrote ja'ala, he, he made, he placed, he assigned ja'ala, we assigned, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his royal plural, lakum for you, la is for, kum you, for you, O believers, alayhim, against them, mean against all these people, Allah spoke about the munafikin, those who understand in the sentence, those whom you cannot trust, you see, all these type of people, alayhim, against them, Sultan and Sultan. What Sultan means? Authority. Sultan means authority. Sultan and N authority. N. It's an indefinite article. Mubin and clear. Notice the, the, the concord there. Sultan and Mubin. Look at this. Wa ulaika ja'alna lakum alayhim Sultan and Mubin. And these, all the rules and regulations, you see, it's long before even the. United Nations or anybody sought about the Geneva Convention, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the Muslims, do not be aggressive, do not kill. Yes, people who you cannot trust, they are danger to you, go for them. And of course, and this we have assigned for you a clear authority. This is how you have to behave. Don't be aggressive, don't exceed the limit. After a short break, we shall continue, inshallah. Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayatul Kitabil Mubi Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayatul Kitabil Mubi 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to the program Miftahul Quran and of course you are watching ITV and this is the fourth session and so far we've been talking in war times condition how to behave with people, don't be aggressive, right? There are certain conditions where you still have to be lenient with people who come to you and offer you peace, etc., etc. But on a certain condition, Allah says, you can even start getting rid of them. Now we come to the law regarding what you call uh, death sentence. Let's see what it says. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ أَنْ يَقْتُلَ مُؤْمِنًا إِلَّا خَطْعًا وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ أَنْ يَقْتُلَ مُؤْمِنًا إِلَّا خَطْعًا Right? Now, you see in warfare, this is warfare conditions. You see, all the verses have to be given. Allah is talking earlier, we discussed about those who came with an open rejection and open hostility. But what about yourself among the believers? What is the situation? Allah is making that point of a very, very clear. So, wa and ma not. Kana it is. Kana it is. We know that kana yakunu. Limu meaning li is two or four. Two or four. A is, of course, indefinite article. Mu min a believer. Mu min a believer. For a believer, and that yaktula, you see, because of an, because of an, you find instead of saying yaktulu, what you call the jasaf, right, and the indicative, those people who know about it, please take note. He kills, he slays, he murders, you see, mu'minan, another believer. Another believer, this is in time of war or something, people will take advantage to say, you know what, something like that, they grudge somebody, he says, right, here it goes. You see, on those conditions, a believer, illa, except, right, khat'an. What is khat'an? Khat'an, meaning by mistake, mistakenly, accidentally, right? So in other words, you're not, a believer is not allowed. Now, you see, there's another rule. In chapter 2, which we, we know that we have done that earlier, the rule about qisas. This is accident, when you accidentally kill someone by mistake. Right? وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ أَنْ يَقْتُلَ مُؤْمِنًا إِلَّا خَطْعًا And it is not for a believer that he slay a believer, except by mistake. Except by mistake. Now if you kill somebody by mistake, so you, Allah says, no, I can't let you go. You have to put that matter somehow. You got to do something about it. So, what do you do when you kill somebody by mistake? A man qatala mu'minan khat'an fatahriru raqabatin mu'minatin. Now, this the one who kills. Like if you are a believer within your own camp, Allah. There's three camps here. First, Allah is talking about within your own camp. You are living in a town. Is a Muslim state. You are a Muslim, you kill another Muslim, what is the situation? Not a, a person belonging to another tribe or a hostile tribe or something. Within yourself, what is this? Waman qatala mu'minan khat'an. Right? So, waman qatala mu'minan khat'an fatahriru raqabatim mu'minatin. Wa and man whoever. Living in a town, everybody is believers. One believer kills another believer. What is the situation? Whoever qatala, he slays. It's a simple trial little verb like nasara, yansuru, qatala, yaktulu. Mu'minan, he slays whom? Ask the question, he slays whom? You are going to get an object of the sentence and the sign of the object is a fatha. Because of the double fatha, you're going to say a believer. Right, indefinite article. Khat'an. Khat'an, by mistake, it's an adverb. How you kill a mis uh, believer? Khat'an, mistakenly, by mistake. Khat'an. Fatahri, then what is the situation? Fa. Fa is, fa is, then or so. Tahrir, tahrir, harra. What is tahrir? Right, tahrir means 
to set free. And you know, this in Africa, in a, Swa, in a Swahili language, it is very much used. You find the town Harare. Harare. What is Harare? Harare means a free town. That's what it means. It's this Arabic root here. That word comes from that. It's a Swahili word, but the origin of that word is from here. Tahrir. Harra. Right? Tahrir meaning the setting free. Rakabatin. Rakaba. Rakaba, of course, that is indefinite article. It means a plus because it is a kasra, it means of, of a slave. Now you find a slave is used here more or less in a feminine sense and like a collective noun. It could be both male and female here. Right? Rakabatin, mu'minatin, mu'minatin, a believing. Now this is used as an adjective. Used as an adjective. Look at this. Rakabatin mu'minatin, meaning mu'minatin is used here as an adjective to describe rakaba. Can you see? Both have the feminine endings here. So Allah says, first example of, what is the first example? You're living in a town, everybody is a believer, one believer kills another believer. What is the situation? And whoever slays a believing believer by mistake, by mistake, not premeditated murder, then on him is a setting free of a believing slave. You see, Allah will use any excuse, Islam uses any excuse to free slaves. Can you see? Every time you take an oath, you must free slaves. When you give zakat, you free slaves. Right, so slaves were freed on every pretext so they could rehabilitate themselves and be part of the society. So, if a person kills another believer by mistake, he must free a slave. Plus, wadiyatun musallamatun ila ahlihi illa an yastaku. And he got to two, another extra thing. And diyatun, diyan means blood money. Blood money, blood wit means, all right, we offer you, we accidentally killed your brother. Right, first you got to free a slave, and the second thing is blood money, 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, whatever it is. You see, you come to an agreement, the court has to decide. Diyatun, musallamatun, delivered. Right, in other words, on the spot. Ila to his family. His family mean if you have killed a father, you give it to the wife and the children. Brother, you keep it. You, the court has to decide this thing. His family, right? Unless illa except and that yasadaku they remit. That is the family decides. All right, we do not want the money. You take the money, you give it as charity. You give it as charity. So you can either give the money, blood money, what you call, to the family, or you give that blood money. The family can decide, as he said. Now let us make it clear, a Muslim, a believer, kills another believer by mistake in a Muslim state. His punishment of, his, the, how we put the matter right, first of all he's got to free a slave and another thing is, and blood wit delivered to his family, right? There's two things he has to do, illa an yasaddaku, except if the family decide they remit it as charity, they say, all right, you have to give 10,000 or 50,000 or 100,000 rand or whatever it is, but you don't give it to us. You give it to, say for instance, you give it to the Child Welfare Society or the orphanage or whatever they want to. And, uh, and I hope that uh, we find that whatever it is, long before the Geneva Convention was thought of, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought about all these laws as far as how to treat people who are hostile towards you, who have made an alliance towards you, and at the same time, what you call people who have come to you to offer you peace. You don't go in an aggressive way, killing and looting and everything in that way. There's, everything has got a norm, and Allah will give, as Allah says, I will give you authority, Sultan. You do not have authority to just do as you want to. And of course, we have come to the end of this program. And shukran for, for, for watching. And inshallah we shall have another one or two installment of these conditions of warfare rules. And after that we are going to leave them behind. And, and I know that everyone is not interested in warfare rules. Right. 
and uh, from me Abdul Samad Abdul Qadir and my engineers Yusuf Ye and Will and Muhammad Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alif Lam Ra Tilka ayatul kitab al-mubin Inna anzalnahu qur'anan arabiyyan la'allakum ta'qilun